As you all know, the Prime card on October 14th is a double main event. But today, we're going to be talking about the People's Main Event. On paper, Slim has the better credentials. He started his boxing career in 2019 compared to Salt who started in 2022. On top of that, Slim has a 6-0 record compared to Salt's 3-1 record. However, we need to look at the level of competition. Slim's first two fights were against debuting opponents. His third fight was against a 1-0 fighter. His next fight against FaZe Temper was probably his biggest challenge and FaZe Temper was 1-0 at the time. What a performance! And wow. ladies and gentlemen, that might be the upset of the night. I heard a lot of people leaning towards Temper. He then beat an 0-1-1 one opponent. And a lot of people were disappointed by his most recent fight where he fought another debuting fighter and was unable to get the finish. However, he won comfortably. Salt Poppy debuted against a 1-0 fighter and put on a clinic in that fight. His next fight against a debuting fighter, he delivered a devastating knockout within the first 30 seconds of round one. His next fight against a 2-0 fighter, he put up another clinic and got a second round knockout. Poppy to himself. Hey, tell that now. We should be touching Poppy from the distance. His last fight was against Anthony Taylor, who was an MMA fighter before making his debut in YouTube boxing. Pretty boy, Anthony Taylor! It also must be noted that although Salt debuted in 2022, he had prior street fighting experience. <laughs> he gave you a response. He said, thank you and you wish, homie. You about to get the worst beat down of your influencing influencer boxing career beat down bro he was getting outboxed by a midget like how i'm tw I'm, I'm twice as long as anthony taylor and i'm way sharper than him i hit way harder than him yeah like i knocked down ryan taylor and taylor couldn't even freaking reach ryan taylor's face bro when he fought him right. they had a draw you know what i'm saying look at the beating i gave ryan taylor like i landed like 100 punches on his face when looking at the tail of the tape slim has the height advantage and reach advantage and salt has the weight advantage and the power advantage Although Slim isn't as much of an elite finisher as Salt Poppy is, he could definitely land a decision victory with his volume punches and head movement. But on a final note, I'm willing to bet that Salt Poppy learned a lot in his loss to Anthony Taylor. You arguably learn more from a loss than you do from a victory, especially against a fighter with the experience of Anthony Taylor. For those reasons, I would give the edge to Salt Poppy in this fight. The winner of this fight should undoubtedly deserve a main event fight with the likes of KSI. Whether that actually happens or not is unknown, but we shall see.